Officials are saying there's a heightened level of bacteria in this water that makes the fish really dangerous to eat and could get you sick if you swim in it. We can't pin down exactly what's causing the problems with the smallmouth bass. I don't think I'd eat any fish out of this river. You shouldn't have specific species in a river that has those type of lesions or that type of open sore. Raw sewage entering waterways just like the Susquehanna River. It's a problem that's caused by... The Susquehanna River, one of the five major river basins in Pennsylvania, and surprisingly is one of the oldest river basins in the world. But more importantly, it's the river that I grew up on. My father would always tell stories about the river, like swimming down in the falls with his friends in the early 70s. And sadly, I haven't had the chance to go swimming in it. When I was a child, the only thing I knew about the river was that it separated Harrisburg from my hometown of Enola, Pennsylvania. In Enola, PA, there isn't much to do. It's a very quiet town if you excuse the gigantic train yard. Enola is a railroad town where people just kind of come and go and all you can really do is just chase after the trains. Though you are never too far from some section of the Susquehanna. And after reading reports in 2016 that the Susquehanna was on a list of being the third most endangered river in America, I got worried. I heard about sewage, chemicals, and contaminants in the water. So I decided to come back home to Enola, PA to figure out exactly what's happening with the river. And I decided to speak with the man that taught me everything, my father. Well, you know, if we go back to when I started going to the river and fishing and using the river, you know, we swam, we fished. We used to run a trap line and down at the trap line, you know, you notice a big difference from the mid 60s um, to today. The strangest thing that became apparent to me was just how massive the Susquehanna is. I mean, the river basin spans three states, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland. It's over 400 square miles long and supplies drinking water to over 6 million people. I also started to realize that most of the creeks in my area somehow connect back to the Susquehanna, branching off like fingers. Creeks that I actually drank from, creeks that I did swim in. Now I know Harrisburg draws water right directly from the Susquehanna here at Harrisburg. And they are just about 800 yards below and on the opposite bank of the river from where Marysville discharges their sewerage directly into the river. Now I would feel very uncomfortable about that. <laughs> I started doing some research on where my family specifically gets its water from. Not just my family, but all the families in Enola and the Mechanicsburg Township. I tracked down that the water comes specifically from the Conagawinnet Creek, a tributary of the Susquehanna. I used to go swimming there in the summers. One time I found an entire toilet in this river. And a report from the Environmental Working Group said that there were about 12 contaminants in the river, six of which were violations. Contaminants such as dibromochloromethane, bromodichloromethane, chloroform, etc. I called a few different places, but Mechanicsburg itself and Enola gets its water from the Conneguinet. Yes. And I'm wondering, how do you feel about drinking the Conne water? <laughs> um, 